Okay, this is the next CGMRC Heli Sim. It's one of the newest ones that you can find around. It's only for helicopters. It's very small, I say, about 100 megabytes, a little, a bit, a little bit less uh, when compressed. Um, and it has many, many helicopters, not as much, for example, as a real flight, but I think that they are a lot more up to date. Um, we got these aligned, the main ones are the lines, um, the, the 800, 700, the FC Pro, the old 700, 600, the 550 DFC Pro, then the smaller guys, the 450L Dominator and the Pro. You got the Benji 700, um, 600, 1 3 d the Vive Nitro, Vive 90, Free Mikados, the 600 SE, very popular, the 700 3D and the 500 SE were also very popular. Not the new one, but very good. This is a, a Ray Ballistic 635, a Goblin 700, that's all you can know, and two scale models. Um, you can set up uh, the way it flies, the expos, uh, the, the pitch, the speed, the head speed, the weight, even some other things about the engine, ailerons, gyros, the lift factor. There, there are a lot of things you can change. Also, you can modify your pitch curves here with your own curve or use one of the ones preset there. Um, you can change the scenarios, you can have it by night using redneck. It can be really very realistic. It can have auto rotations, autopilot, some other things which are appearing which uh, sorry anytime or each time this uh, heli is upgraded and it's upgraded quite frequently. New models, new scenarios. And I believe that the physics are very nice. For example, let's try uh, the nitro. Oh, I crash. Well, doesn't matter. That's the the same for. Look at the 550 Pro. It's also a very nice model. It's a the newest one with the red engine, the red motor, and, and this canopy. It doesn't feel as floaty as the bigger ones, but it feels very good as well. I like it very much this one and one of the reasons perhaps is that I have one I have two 550 so look at the 700 EFC Pro 
much more floaty than the 500 lots of power and very stable I never had a 700 but I flew some of my friends once and really I like the 700 Could try an auto to see what happens. I'm not very good at autos, too, but okay, survive. Look at the 800, even bigger, yeah. even more floater. Let's take a look. Uh, to the logo. Let's see some scenarios. Look at uh, many of them. The, the Moosey, Indiana scenario. Some other German, many German scenarios too. You can change the sensitivity of of the flying style with a click. Look at now now it's hard, much faster. I'm very very far away let me get closer otherwise you won't see anything neither do I you hear some bubbling around is my little son okay um, well what I must say about this sim is that you can run it on a Mac you can run it on a PC um, you can run it on a Neck and, and I don't remember the name, but one of those uh, open source systems. It can run 
in, in a not so fast machine. Mine is a two year old uh, Mac Pro and it doesn't have the strongest video resources so even though it runs very well um, but you can put the resolution a bit down and it still fly very very well it's uh, about eighty dollars or something like that you can buy it on the page as well but you can if you have a Mac you can get in the App Store and download uh, one which has fully fully um, you can fly on it and it has the old 700 like this one which I think is really nice you can fly all the time you want the only thing I didn't find on I didn't found on, on the demo or that light version was uh, the possibility to auto rotate But it's, I know, I think it's an awesome sim that you should try. And if you have a Mac, you can try it for free, okay? Well, thank you.